Hi everyone, it's Rain here. Welcome to Morning Magic. I'm pulling a card from the Gratitude Oracle deck and from the Dark Mansion Tarot deck. So why don't we take a look at what we need to think about with regards to gratitude today. Gratitude, gratitude. I'm thinking attitude of gratitude. <laughs> What's your attitude of gratitude? Oh, these cards are, they're so big for my hands. <laughs> tiny, tiny hands, hard to shuffle. All right. This is a beautiful card. And the message is prayer. Um, but whenever I see this card, it's, it's the Little Mermaid, if you look at it. I, I've said that before. It always occurred to me that these gratitude cards were, a lot of them were based on fairy tales. Because that's the Little Mermaid, as I'm looking at her right now, holding her Prince Charming in the water as the ship is sailing away. Well, I, I think of this as a sacrifice card, but we do have prayer. And if you think of prayer, it's extremely powerful. Prayer is very powerful. Um, I don't pray in a religious way. You know, I pray to the divine universe. Uh, to me, that's spiritual. It's not religious because religious has a different definition for me. Um, when I'm praying, I'm right in the moment. I'm very mindful. And I think that prayer is a lot like manifesting because basically you're asking for something, right? You're asking for help or guidance and advice. Maybe you're asking for a way in, a way out. You're asking for peace of mind. You're asking for a solution. You're asking for more money. You're asking for a better job, some more love in your life. You're basically asking your higher source for something that you need or want in your life. And that's manifesting, the beginning of manifesting, because when you manifest, you usually you follow up with action, right? But when you pray, I think it's great for your mental health because it shifts your energy. You know, you're, you're stewing in a problem and all of a sudden you decide, okay, I'm gonna close my eyes, either clasp my hands together or, you know, you know, sit and meditate and pray to the universe. Your energy is moving away from the problem and your energy is into uh, asking for help. And usually when we're praying, sometimes we get little light bulb moments that help us out to find a solution to our problem. Um, and if you think about it, you're basically confessing your innermost thoughts to your higher power too, right? If you're asking for help, you know, if you're like, oh my God, my relationship is so terrible. My partner did this and I did this and I don't trust him and he doesn't trust me and there's suspicion and this and that. You're telling the divine all of your problems and you're being vulnerable and that leads, when you're vulnerable, your intuition starts kicking in. And if you have faith in your divine, then it can bring you a lot of peace of mind. So I think prayer is very, very powerful. I'm gonna pull a card from the Dark Mansion Tarot, just so we can have a little compliment to the idea of prayer being powerful. Are you somebody who prays? It was hard for me for many years to start praying because I was brought up in a fundamentalist Christian upbringing. It was very strict. Prayer had certain connotations that didn't sit well with me as an adult and a rational thinker. So I avoided prayer for a long time. It was only recently, maybe in the last five years, that I actually openly say I pray without feeling like I'm going to be judged that I'm praying to a God that for me doesn't, doesn't ring true, you know? I hope I said that well. I don't want to insult anybody out there. All right. Well, we have Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, yeah. This is uh, the stabby, stabby in the backy card. <laughs> um, this could mean that someone stabbed you in the back, but it could. It also is like the end of a really hard cycle that you've been through. Because when you think of the swords, there's only ten 
in the tarot. There's not 11, there's 10. So you've had all 10 stabbed into you and there can't be any more. So maybe you've reached a point in your life where you're not going to sit with those swords in your back anymore. You can see that there's a, you know, a shining light at the end of the tunnel. And it goes well with the prayer card because maybe at this point you've had enough and you're asking for help. You're praying for help. And help can come in many, many different ways. It doesn't have to come in a divine way. It can come in a way where somebody suddenly shows up in your life and they know how to solve your problem. It could, it could be deep inner reflection where you're thinking about all the different ways that you can get out of this Ten of Swords moment. And suddenly, oh, I'm pulling one sword out. The other one's coming out. My friend dropped by with some advice. She pulled another one out, you know. I read something on the internet. Oh, there goes another sword. You know, I've been praying and suddenly all the other swords are just dropping out because I'm feeling so much better. My energy has shifted and I feel connected to my divine universe who always wants the best for me. So that's a powerful message today, my friends. If you need to pray, pray. You don't have to call it prayer if it has religious connotations that are negative for you like it was for me for many years. You can call it being mindful, asking for help, meditating, introspection, but try to connect with that faith that you have, that divine spirit that you believe in. And another thing about prayer is that you have to believe that it's going to work. You know, you can't just pray like, oh God, I want to say, I'm praying for a ham sandwich. And, you know, kind of joking in a way. We all kind of do silly things. But if you really, really pray to the universe and you're genuine and sincere, the universe is going to listen and look out for you. I, I've seen it happen with my friends. I've seen it happen with me. I, I really believe in the power of prayer. So just tying this in a little bit with what I said about the, the Little Mermaid fairy tale about sacrifice. You know, maybe you've been sacrificing a lot in your life and all you're getting is stabs in the back from it. It's time to pray to find out why you're sacrificing when you don't need to. Maybe you've got an issue like I used to have, I continue to have, people pleasing. You got to get out of that. Just pray for some, for some advice and some insight and I'm sure it will come to you. That's the message for today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye.